Does ignoring women make you more attractive to them? That's exactly what we're gonna be talking about today. So I'm gonna tell you what to actually do that's gonna help you out. We're gonna talk about the psychology of why ignoring women can make you more attractive if done in the right way. And then finally, what you can do today that's gonna make you more attractive to women so you can start getting more options with dating and actually date a girl that you really like. Number one. Does ignoring women make you more attractive to them? The short answer to this question is it can if there's already something there. If there's already something there, meaning she's a little bit interested in you somehow, then yes, by you ignoring her, she's gonna assume that you have something better to do. But here's the thing, if you don't have anything better to do and she figures that out, then her attraction for you will stop. The reason why it works, the psychology behind it, is if you are appearing that you have something better to do. Maybe you're moving forward in your career. Oh, he must be doing something really important, right? Those kinds of things, it's inherently attractive to women. It's attractive to women because women don't want a guy to make them the centerpiece of their world. How on earth is he gonna provide for her if he's constantly focused on her? How on earth is he gonna become the best man that he can be if he's constantly paying attention, responding, stressing over messages? Women wanna get with the best possible candidate, not the guy who's paying the most attention to them. What they want is the best best possible candidate for themselves. You're not gonna be the best possible candidate if you're constantly focused on women. What you can do to do this is you can have a path beyond something that is bringing value towards others. And that's what it should be. Evolutionarily speaking, women have always been attracted to this guy. The guy who's bringing a ton of value to people. The guy who has something more important to do than them. And the reason why is because when we lived in tribal society, the guy who was hunting, who was building houses, who was planning stuff, who was doing stuff for the group and not focused solely on her, that was the guy who was gonna help out the tribe the most. If women didn't evolve, to want to sleep with those men and mate with them, we wouldn't have survived as a species. It's not a perfect system, but evolutionarily, women want to get with the best guy for humanity. So for you to be that guy, you have to, you can't be constantly paying attention to women. When you're doing this, if there's something there, yes, ignoring women can do it, but again, you have to have something more important, something that you're going after. So think right now, if you're watching this video, what are some passions that you have? What are some things that you could focus on? What are stuff that you wanna get really good at? What's the value or worth that you wanna provide to the world? It doesn't have to be anything monumental. It could just be stuff that you like. That is how you're going to get women. And the way that you're gonna do it is you're gonna be strategic about it. So let's take the average example of a guy who, when he tries to implement this, he is unsuccessful. Well, the reason why is because most guys, when they hear this that oh being on your path and having something better to do than women is what makes you more attractive to them they're like okay well I'm gonna fully go into my business I'm gonna fully focus on my career and make that in the number one priority and completely swear off everything else when they do this though the women never get to see them <laughs> <laughs> like it doesn't actually help out with their dating life if they're not in front of women if they're not meeting any of them then what's the point you have to do this but also be able to market yourself so the classic example is like the software engineer you know he's sitting at home all day you know he's working for his company or whatever it is he's growing his business and yeah sure that's very noble that he's doing that if a lot of women could see what he's doing and see what he's building then they would admire that and respect him and, and as a result be more attracted to him but like no one's seeing it compare that to a musician or an athlete who is playing a game in front of an entire crowd, who's playing an instrument in front of an audience, and this guy is his craft, what he's doing, his what he's on, like that is seen by a wide variety of people. And while they're playing the game, yes, they're ignoring women. They're focused on playing that instrument. They're focused on playing that game and winning the game. So they are being very attractive there because yes, they're doing the thing and they're ignoring women. But when you're doing it, it doesn't work because you're not visible to anybody when you do it. So when I figured this out, I realized that the stuff that I was doing wasn't really helping me get girls, even though in and of itself, if they realized what I was doing, it would be attractive. So like when I was in college, for instance, I majored in physics. Physics is one of the toughest disciplines to major in, in, in college, okay? It's very high level math, it's a lot of work. Everyone gets stressed out and super uh, anxious before the tests. I was putting a lot of work in there, but there's no women in the physics department. There's none. So when I would do this or I would tell women about it, they wouldn't get it. You know, and sometimes they would even like not want to talk to me afterwards because physics is hard. So, but if I had maybe done this in the psychology department where it's 70% women, I probably would have had a lot more success in college. Compare this to one night in college that I figured out, okay, this is my chance to shine. There was a talent show that a sorority was hosting. 
and I was like, I'm gonna do this talent show. I had been practicing dance moves in my room by myself <laughs> for you know months. Okay, I've been doing like popping and locking moves. I entered this talent show and I crushed it, dude. I did the best performance ever. Girls were like grabbing my legs as I was doing it. The whole crowd was going nuts. At the after party that we went to after the talent show, all these women were coming up to me and I had sex with the hottest girl that I had ever had sex with up until that point. Keep in mind, I had no game in college and uh, I had you know, no experience with women. So it was, needless to say, a very overwhelming and exhilarating experience. But what I did was I had showed what I had been doing for a long time in front of a large group of people. And I hadn't been so solely focused on getting one woman, I had just been focused on my performance. They had seen that and they'd been attracted to me. You gotta figure out a way that you can show off your thing. Now most people are thinking, well I don't have any talents, I can't go and perform in front of a stage, what am I gonna do Lloyd? Chances are a lot of you do have a talent that you can show off, but for those of you who don't, figure out a way that you can use the skills that you do have. For instance, when I was in the physics department, I wasn't around women a lot. But I started to get around more women once I started tutoring others that needed help with their math homework. So I was taking a lot of high level math, so I started tutoring a lot of undergraduates. And a lot of these women were, were attractive. And half of them, at least half of them, probably wanted to sleep with me because like I was showing them stuff, I was showing how capable I was. I wasn't really hitting on them, but like, you know, in a sense, it's, so in that sense I was ignoring them. That is how, you know, I was able to, if I was, didn't do the talent show, that's what I would have focused on to, to be able to date the highest quality woman I could. So if you're in this position, figure out ways that you can meet women, but not necessarily be hitting on them and showing off the stuff that you do. So write down maybe like three things that are hobbies of yours that you're either good at or wanna get good at and see if those things can help you meet women. And you'd be surprised. So like some people will say, well, I don't ha really have any skills. I'm like, do you work out? He's like, yeah, I'll go work out. Okay, well, instead of working out and lifting weights and not talking to anybody with your headphones on, why don't you join a hit class? There's plenty of women there. You're doing something that you've already been doing in the past anyway. You join this class, you get around a lot of them, they see how fit you are. That is gonna be something that you can meet a lot of people through. If you're a software engineer and all you do in your spare time is like geeky stuff, well, dude, join a geeky club. Go to Comic-Con or go to one of those events where you're going to know a lot of the stuff there. You're going to be in your element. And you're not necessarily going there because you want to pick up chicks, although subtly you are. You're doing it to, uh, to really be a part of something that you enjoy. So you're not making women your primary focus. That's the key here. Whenever I would go out, even when my sole goal was to pick up women, when I did the best was when I stopped caring about women, made that a secondary priority and made my primary priority having fun, meeting people, improving my social skills, gaining confidence. I was going out five nights a week and whenever I made women my sole focus when I went out, I never got laid. But once I stopped doing that and started focusing on those things that I just talked about, that's when I started to get massive amounts of success. I stopped caring about individual women that I was going after and cared about myself. You put yourself first. When you put yourself first, you start ignoring women, not completely, but you start paying attention to the more important things more. And be strategic about it. Again, if you just do this and you're never around women ever, it's not going to work. You have to have something where you can be around them in some way, shape, or capacity. Another way that you can do this is, um, you could do this by hosting an event. For me, when I host parties at my house, I'm around, I'm talking to different people, I'm catching up, I'm making sure everybody's having a good time, I'm helping somebody out if they need help. You know, I'm around, I will have time to talk to women I'm interested in, but if I don't, they'll still see me talking to people. But if I, if, I, if I was gonna drop everything and decide to focus on a woman that I really liked and was like, oh, I'm gonna talk to her and you know, like, just spend like a couple hours with her and ignore everybody else, she would lose attraction for me. She would be like, doesn't this guy have anything better to do? Doesn't he live here? Doesn't he know most of the people here? Why is he so focused on me? She'd start to feel weird. But if I do what I usually do, which is have a brief conversation, maybe learn a little bit about her, and then I'm like, oh, hey, listen, I gotta go for a second. And then you know, I get pulled over by somebody else because they need something or you know, they wanna tell me something or talk to me or whatever it is, I do that. I'm like 10 times more likely to have that woman be interested in me 
than if I just focused on her and have her lose the attraction. So figure out in your own life how you can eliminate this. So what, what I want you to do, today, list three things that you can do that you wanna either get good at or you are already good at. Figure out ways that you can join groups in these things. Figure out a way that you can show these off to women. Write them down. This can be a, just a draft, just think about it. That's how you're gonna think strategically about how to get women in your life. The guy who's a software engineer just stares at his computer all day and then decides, hey, I'm gonna go out to the club and try and get a girl there. You're completely out of your element there, dude. If you learn the club game and you wanna do that, then fine. Like I, you know, that's something that you can do. That's something that I learned. It took me a while. It was my favorite thing. And to this day, I still don't voluntarily go to the club, but it is an option. What you'd be better off doing is finding environments that you're going to do well with, with your interests, things that you're actually good at. This is something that I help guys out on a daily basis. So for the guys out there that are like, oh dude, Lloyd, the only interest that I have, there's only guys there. The only work that I do is only guys. Find some other things that you can do that are gonna have women around them. And you can be strategic about this. I guarantee you there's gonna be some overlap with the skills that you have. So by the end of this video, you didn't learn anything. It's put yourself first. Make sure that the things that you're doing are improving yourself and your skills. Two, be strategic about the things that you do so you can get around the kinds of women that you wanna date. And three, number one, when you do meet a woman that you like, absolutely do not completely drop your life and everything to focus on that person because you will absolutely lose her. All right. Thanks for watching. If you want to book a call with me, a free call, please click the link in my description at getcoachedbyloyd.com. Thank you so much for watching and good luck out there.